Episode 23. Questions and answers are based on Chapter 9, Pickling or Marinating. Choose the best answer. What are the main ingredients in the pickling or marinating solution for fish and fishery products? A. Vinegar and salt. B. Vinegar, salt, sugars, and spices. C. Vinegar, salt, and spices. D. Salt and spices. What are the main ingredients in the pickling or marinating solution for fish and fishery products? B. Vinegar, salt, sugars, and spices. Why is the shelf life of pickled products restricted? A. Due to the lack of vinegar in the solution. B. Due to the lack of salt in the solution. C. Due to the palatable upper concentration of acid. D. Due to the excessive use of sugars and spices. Why is the shelf life of pickled products restricted? C. Due to the palatable upper concentration of acid. Pickling or marinating is commonly used for fish that are A. Lean and dry B. Fatty and difficult to cure by ordinary salting methods C. Fresh and tender D. Frozen and heavily contaminated Pickling or marinating is commonly used for fish that are B. Fatty and difficult to cure by ordinary salting methods how are pickled products classified in terms of preservation? A. Fully preserved B. Semi-preserves C. Short-term preserved D. Unpreserved How are pickled products classified in terms of preservation? B. Semi-preserves The quality of pickled products mainly depends on a. The amount of vinegar used. B. The type of fish used. C. How maturation proceeded. D. The amount of sugar used. The quality of pickled products mainly depends on C. How maturation proceeded. Which component of vinegar accounts for its antiseptic property? A. Acetic acid B. Distilled vinegar C. Grain strength D. Spices Which component of vinegar accounts for its antiseptic property? A. Acetic acid At what acetic acid content can bacterial growth be completely stopped in vinegar? A. 2-3% to B. 5% C. 10% D. 15% at what acetic acid content can bacterial growth be completely stopped in vinegar? D. 15% Why is distilled vinegar commonly used for pickling? A. It has a high grain strength. B. It is readily available in retail stores. C. It is cheaper than other types of vinegar. D. It has a stronger flavor than other types of vinegar. Why is distilled vinegar commonly used for pickling? A. It has a high grain strength. What happens when vinegar with low grain strength is used for pickling? A. The pickled product becomes firm. B. The pickled product becomes soft. C. The pickled product becomes overly salty. D. The pickled product becomes spicy. What happens when vinegar with low grain strength is used for pickling? B. The pickled product becomes soft. What effect does high salt concentration have on pickled products? A. It makes the product softer. B. It reduces protein solubility and results in a firmer product. C. It has no effect on the product's texture. D. It increases the shelf life of the product. What effect does high salt concentration have on pickled products? 
B. It reduces protein solubility and results in a firmer product. How does sugar act as a preservative in pickled products? A. By enhancing the color of the product. B. By lowering the water activity in the solution. C. By adding sweetness to the product. D. By inhibiting bacterial growth. How does sugar act as a preservative in pickled products? B. By increasing the thickness of the pickling solution, thereby lowering the water activity and also adding sweetness to the product. What is the most probable function of the spices used in pickled products? A. They inhibit spoilage. B. They add distinct flavors to the product. C. They stabilize the product's texture. D. They mask the color and odor of the product. What is the most probable function of the spices used in pickled products? D. They mask the color and odor of the product. What compounds in spices could account for their antioxidant properties? A. Eugenol, cinnamic, aldehyde, and penine. B. Capsaicin and curcumin. C. Vanillin and menthol. D. Caffeine and theobromine. What compounds in spices could account for their antioxidant properties? A. Eugenol, cinnamic, aldehyde, and P9. What should be done to the anchovies before pickling them? A. Remove the head and the tail, split into two fillets, and remove the bones. B. Smoke the anchovies to enhance the flavor. C. Rinse the anchovies with hot water. D. Soak the anchovies in a 40% vinegar solution for 6 hours. What should be done to the anchovies before pickling them? A. Remove the heads and tails, split into two fillets, and remove the bones. In making pickled anchovies, what is the role of the toothpick in the pickling procedure? A. It is used to remove the bones from the anchovies. B. It secures the fillet around a piece of dill pickle. C. It is used to steer the pickling solution. D. It is used as a measurement guide for the amount of vinegar needed. In making pickled anchovies, what is the role of the toothpick in the pickling procedure? B. It secures the fillet around a piece of dill pickle. In making marinated mussels, tahong, how long should live mussels be immersed in boiling water during the marinating process? A. 1 to 2 minutes. B. 4 to 6 minutes. C. 10 minutes. D. 15 minutes. In preparing marinated mussels, tahong, how long should live mussels be immersed in boiling water during the marinating process? B. 4 to 6 minutes. In making marinated mussels, tahong, what should be done to the mussels after removing them from the shells? A. Rinse them with cold water. B. Trim away the beards. C. Boil them again in vinegar. D. Pack them in glass jars. In making marinated mussels, tahong, what should be done to the mussels after removing them from the shells? B. Trim away the beards. In making marinated mussels tahong, how long should the mussel meat be soaked in water or weak brine before marinating? A. 1 hour. B. 2 to 3 hours. C. 6 hours. D. Overnight. In making marinated mussels tahong, how long should the mussel meat be soaked in water or weak brine before marinating? B. 2 to 3 hours. In making marinated mussels, tahong, 
what should be done to the vinegar after simmering it with the spices. A. Strain, filter, and allow to cool. B. Discard it and use fresh vinegar. C. Boil it again with more spices. D. Store it in a refrigerator for later use. In making marinated mussels tahong, what should be done to the vinegar after simmering it with the spices? A. Strain, filter, and allow to cool. What is the ideal ratio of mussel meat to pickling solution during packing in glass jars? A. 1 is to 1. B. 1.5 is to 1. C. 2 is to 1. D. 2.5 is to 1. What is the ideal ratio of mussel meat to pickling solution during packing in glass jars? B. 1.5 is to 1. Why should glass jars be inspected regularly when preparing marinated products? A. To check for broken jars. B. To ensure proper coverage of the fish by the pickling liquid. C. To remove any impurities from the jars. D. To adjust the fit of loose lids. Why should glass jars be inspected regularly when preparing marinated products? B. To ensure proper coverage of the fish by the pickling liquid. 